I'm SirTapTap, and we're gonna be checking out a 100% orange juice visual novel fan game thingy demo. Complicated to explain <laughs> in a single word, but yes, it's, this is just called 100% orange juice visual novel at the moment. Um, it's made by the Vulpine Hero one on um, Twitter and Itch.io. This is what you can get the current build on Itch.io. Um, it's got a bunch of. Um, I believe the fan art used in the game is. Um, I believe it's used with permission, but it's a bunch of different artists. Uh, let's just start the game. It's made in Ren Pi. As if you've used Ren Pi, you can probably already tell. This is. These are characters from the Orange Juice set of. Um, characters. It's a university AU, I guess, which I assume is a common kind of thing. I've also heard of coffee shop AUs, which people in my Discord server seem very interested in. Speaking of my Discord server, if you play 100% Orange Juice, come pop in our Discord. Uh, SirTapTap.com slash Discord, or there'll be a link in the description, as always. Um, we play lots of 100% Orange Juice. So in this novel, you play as Sora, I guess. Mew! Be too much to hope for a novel we can uh, play as Naf, huh? Yes! Hi, Parker! You're the reason I had to take a bunch of allergy meds. Yes, you are. How do you feel about that? I hope I'm not too sniffly and stuff in this video, but he's he's been bugging me today. I guess I have to read it, don't I? The city looks so bright at night. A thousand sparkling little lights in the distance, far below. I rest my cheek against the window of the train carriage. The glass is cold against my cheek. I can hear my I hear my case slide a little in the compartment as we go slide through another slow, tight turn. It's the only train that goes from my hometown to the city. It comes once a month, up and down the mountain on ro narrow, rickety tracks. The wheels seem so f so tall it's as if the entire train is on stilts. I'm not sure I've ever ridden a train, by the way. Um, buses, yes. Um, planes, definitely. Cars, of course. Train? I don't... I don't think I've ever been on. If I have been, it's been... I was, like, a little tiny baboo. And I don't remember it. For all the world, it reminds me of a billy goat! I told that to the driver once while he was resting at the station. He laughed, because he calls the train Daisy. It's a very goat kind of name. I like it, though. It's better than the train's real name, which is D14. Daisy is much more expressive. It, seems, it feels like a fancy boy train station to be going out to, you know, middle of nowheresville. Usually the train only stops off in my town to deliver mail. Then it goes right back again. There's never any passengers one way or the other. The town was a mining town, but all the ore is dried up now. There's no real reason for people to come here. <gasps> and then it was Night in the Woods. We're gonna have to play Night in the Woods again, by the way. Which, <laughs> one of the reasons I don't usually do visual novels and why... This game is about an hour, hour and a half, depending on reading speed, according to the thing, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if I'll read the whole thing, or if I'll do... I'll play the whole thing recorded. Um, I might. We'll, we'll see. I'll see how we're feeling at 15 minute mark. Which will, which will be the end of the first video, at least. Um, yeah, I don't think it's fully appreciated. Uh, it, it takes a lot, especially to try and do a voice act, or even just read all of the text, really in a visual novel, which is why I tend to not do them. I tend to like that kind of stuff. I tend to like, um, you know, walking sims and kind of more chill, just story-based or more atmospheric games, but it's a lot of reading, and that's... <laughs> and every time that you're reading stuff in the game, it's, you know, that's time that you're not reacting to what's in it, so it's a little unusual to do for a Let's Play kind of format. But I wanted to do this. We've been playing lots of Orange Juice. Um, I like the characters a lot, and... Um, the fan community, at least the art community, seems really good for 100% Orange Juice. I will say, um, there's enough of, um, a friend of mine told me, actually, they, um, it, the game is big on Slash V on 4chan, so there's some of that to contend with. But hey, there's private matches, and you can mute people in the game, so, anyway. Let's play the actual game, shall we? Usually this train only stops off my town to deliver mail, and then it comes right back down again. There's never any passengers, one way or the other. Our town was a mining town. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> See, that's the problem with doing VN stuff. If I stop, even for a moment, to, to say stuff, you kind of lose track. There's just so much text. Every so often, somebody leaves. They don't come back. But it's almost a special occasion. Usually we throw a party when they, 
when it happens. You, you throw a party when people leave forever? <laughs> this seems kind of cruel, Sora. But That said, I don't, I don't think we should get mail more often than once a month. It doesn't feel very fair that everyone else... Oh, I, I think we really should get mail more than once a month. It doesn't seem very fair that everyone gets mail all the time, but we don't. Even if it's only once a month. We should at least get mail to balance it out, but we barely get any at all. Nobody wants to send flyers or junk mail to a town like ours. What are the jokes? It's the best part of living here. That, there's no salesman. Probably get plenty of junk mail in the city. I'm honestly kind of excited about it. Oh, moving out story, huh? Fast food, too! I want to try all of the burgers. Oh, get that burg. I was just about to get a burg before I sat down and recorded this, and I'm going to regret that by the end of this video. Oh, I want that burg now. We don't have any burger places in town that are completely foreign world to me. I almost grew up in my father's home cooking. Just 80% stew. Oh, frick. No, I can go back, right? Oh, sorry. I wish... I wish there was an option to just put, just, I want everything on screen at once and I don't want to like, go back, you know, see all of it. I really l appreciate Renpai's features, by the way, because you could just go back. In other games, I would have had to like, reload a save or some crap if I wanted to see that, or it would just be gone into the ether forever. Um, it's kind of stunning how Renpai has, I mean, it's just, you know, it focuses on the features, not the gameplay stuff, because, you know, it's a, it's a game engine. So, it can have all of these features just standard. Um, a lot of visual novels do have back features now these days, but I wish all story games had that. Anyway. Mostly grew up on my father's home cooking, which is maybe 80% stew, 10% roasted sandwiches, and 10% miscellaneous. We don't talk about the miscellaneous. Of course. I'm not going to the city just for junk mail, or even for burgers. It is a valid reason. Actually, it's for university. I'm accepted to a music scholarship. Seems like a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Oh, frickin'. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna go to the next thing. I want to see it all on screen. Ugh. Um, I'm excited for a music scholarship. Seems like a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Especially since our school here isn't very well accredited. I've been told that there was a professor in the audience in one of my recitals, and they were impressed by my playing. That's in my viola case, which is by the seat. I want to see the other orange juice characters. <laughs> I would be fine with this if I didn't have to read it. That's kind of the problem. Oops with reading all of the text stuff. But that's... Let me let me ask you a chat question right now, chat. Or viewers, whoever you are. Um, in a visual novel, let's play. Especially when there's, you know, it's backstory and stuff. Do you prefer when it's all read out aloud? Or do you, you know, are you okay with kind of skipping and just kind of commenting on it? See, I usually decide, you know, if I'm going to read stuff, I got to read all of it, but um, I don't know. Obviously, if you just want to read it, you know, you can just download the game, play it yourself. Especially when it's a free fan game like this is. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. It's on. Uh, it's up on itch.io. Anyway, my mother, who was a violinist before I was born, taught me how to play. I remember picking out melodies, floating daintily across the strings in a way I couldn't even imagine doing myself. I was heavier and more forceful with my playing, so the viola was a better fit for me than the violin. Still, even if I'm excited, I can't help but wondering if I'm ever coming home again. I hope so. Father told me the town, basically, is dying. Within a generation or two, there'll be no young people left. There's no more left in the mine, no real reason for a town to exist. It's a relic from a bygone age, he said. He loved it because it was a place that had given him peace. It's time had passed. When he was waving goodbye to the station, his expression was so complicated. Happy and sad, worried and relieved, at the same time. So I guess that's what being a parent's like. It's kind of neat to work out. This is kind of like Sora's backstory in the main games, not really the viola stuff. But it's kind of neat to see that worked into a fan game stuff. Um, i tell you a little secret. TapTap -tap wrote a couple of Halo fanfic things when he was in, what, 8th grade? Roman Halo for PC came out. I think all that stuff is completely scrubbed from the internet by now. I should take a look. I know some keywords. I won't let you know about them, but maybe I'll find it. Um, I actually used to write, want to write a lot. I still want to write. I have some ideas for stories myself. But um, I was kind of always worried of that hurdle of like, what if I write a billion goddamn word um, story? And no one ever reads it. That's, to me, that's kind of the, partly the appeal of fan stuff, is that you have you have some pre-existing characters 
Um, you have at least some people that will read it. I, I don't know how many people have played this game. Does, does Ichio offer the stats like that? Nah, I can't really tell how many people have played it. Oh, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was kind of, that's kind of an appeal to fanfic stuff for me. Um, I have some original story stuff that I need to... It's mostly in my head, which is kind of a problem. I need to start writing it down, but the issue is who will read it. Anyway, back to the game. I feel so... I feel... The VN's... Play, let's play a VN feels so weird, because, like, you're in this reading mood, and then you start talking about stuff. It's like, oh, right. Now I gotta read stuff again. I felt so final. I can only think of one person who leaves our town and actually comes back, and that's the man who runs the general store. He always used to be polishing the counter, wearing thick black glasses, and a slightly ominous smile. It's not like we have much choice about who we buy from. We used to go back... Bleh. We used to go to and from the city every month or so, looking for new merchandise and making connections. Um, oh, he used to. <laughs> Funny how just just one word wrong, and the whole sentence sounds different. Um, that's language for you, kids. I remember him once bringing back a doll in a pale blue dress. I saved up all my allowance over the summer for it. Looking through the shop window every time we passed. I wonder if I can find the place in the city that doll originally came from. Maybe. Shake my head. Feels like I tricked myself into thinking too hard about things. There's not really much else going apart from the train to read. I don't have a book. The train rattles over the track. Slow, rhythmic. Ch -ch 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 -ch. A steady and even beat. It's already night time. be another hour or two before I reach the station. It almost feels like I'm being rocked to sleep. Maybe I'll take a nap. Just clear my mind. Just a little one. I kind of figured we'd be bumping into more zany characters already, but... this Who is this OC man? So you're from out of town? I hope this character doesn't talk too much, because I'm going to regret giving him a crappy voice. The taxi driver yawns. It's a cold night. His breath makes a plume of fog. I'm a little cold, so I stick my hands in my jacket pockets and wriggle my fingers as they warm up again. The train carriage ended up being a bit more droughty than I thought it was. Yes. How could you tell? I'm sorry. Whenever there's a protagonist in these games, I always just give them my voice. Both because, like, I, you know, I connect with that character. And also, little spoiler secret, they're going to talk the most, so it's the least effort to just use my regular voice. Plus, I'll never forget it. You don't speak like a people around here. Can't quite put a finger where you're from, though. You know what's funny is he's I'm I'm the backward I'm the backwoods hick and he is the like a city folk person but I gave him this voice and it's too late to change. This country is crazy. You drive five minutes down the street and you meet someone with a totally different accent. His nose wrinkles. He's complaining. I think he's complaining the way you do when you something that used to annoy you a lot but you learn to love. I smile and he smiles back. He's got a pretty thick accent himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah he does. I'm from the next town up in the mountains. There's a town there. Well, we should learn something new every day. I hope so. That's what I'm going to university for. <laughs> kind of funny. Sora is like one of the most overused characters in Orange Juice, and we don't have a visual portrait yet <laughs> for her, I guess. I, I, the, I, I think the older I am, the more I don't like protagonists. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, almost every series that I hold near to dear. Um, the protagonist is like my least favorite character. So in Sora, my favorite character is Nath. Um, Sora, she's neat and all, but just, I think it's just the overexposure and the need for the player character to be like neat and perfect, which, you know, it's just kind of grating. And like you see characters with the flaws that are like equally as well written as the main character. And you're like, oh, oh, this person is way cooler. It's like, I'm like that with Danganronpa, which I guess, you're supposed to be, like, Danganronpa, I don't think is a fair comparison, because, like, there is, you know, Hajime is a person, but he's mostly a stand-in. He doesn't really have a lot to go on himself. You're really supposed to be the character. Um, everyone else is just so much more interesting. Um, but, you know, Hyperdimension Neptunia, I, I don't really like Neptune anymore. Um, and just, 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 I think part of it is just kind of spite of, like, seeing a character constantly. Like, Siguri, I haven't even played her game, but, like, everyone's like, oh man, Siguri's my favorite character, and I'm like, you know what, just to spite you, I'm gonna like other people more. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit of that, it's a little bit of everything. Anyway, 
He laughs, short and sharp like a bark, ruff, 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 and walks over to his car to fill it with the boot. It's an old car, it's scruffed with paint and a few dents. This is this is this is a weird mentally AU because if you haven't played Sora, it's like a it's like a pre-apocalyptic, I guess, story. Um, the world is actively in the process of being destroyed, and like Sora is like a modified, like cybernetic ultimate weapon thing, and like the thought of her just sitting on a train because it's the only way out of her town. It's like is it? It's an alternate universe thing. It's just an interesting contrast. He laughs, short and sharp like a bark, and walks over to his car to fiddle with the boot. It's kind of weird to me that the the preface text was like all... It was in like, like that dream sequence in Earthbound sort of text, and now we're reading it in this. But uh, I guess it makes sense for the prologue to be a little bit different. Like, well, it's, <laughs> that's the problem with commentary versus reading. Commentary versus reading. I gotta stop and switch modes. But uh, like I said, let me know in the comments how you, how you like to handle that. I, I don't think there's a perfect way to handle VNs, but I'm interested to see the way people like to do them. Usually if I'm really into a VN, I will do the thing I'm doing now. I will read every line of dialogue fully, um, and I will leave comments in between. Um, I do, one thing I really liked about One Shot is that it had its walking segments. It's basically a VN but you walked between the characters because it's an RPG Maker game, and that kind of gave me the, the space to breathe and talk about other stuff instead of reading dialogue. Fantastic game, by the way. If you haven't seen One Shot, either play it yourself or check out my Let's Play series of it. It's, uh, that game really wowed me. And I have a Nico plush sitting in my kitchen. That's how much I liked it. Um, anyway. I have a couple orange juice plushes coming too, but they don't have a Nath plush yet. But I got QP and Aru. You gotta support, you gotta support animal girls. Um, it's an old car, scruffed with paint and a few dents. His clothes look old too, a thin jacket over yellow shirt, scruffed boots and army pants. Probably oh, they've been repaired a lot. Mostly I'm trying not to stare at the wolf ears on his head. Yeah? Kimo... Kimo no mimi. I think is how you say that. Kimo no, no mimi? I'm getting better at reading Japanese things, just by nature of getting more games where the names aren't localized and stuff, but... There's a lot of vowels. A lot of vowels. People with animal characteristics, almost always ears and usually tail, but often with personality traits similar to whatever the animal is, they're, they're rare and no one knows quite what makes them born that way. <laughs> I guess they had to be inserted into the story because um, several of the characters in Orange Juice, well, mostly people in the QP-verse are. There were none in my town, so it's the first time I've seen one. His ears look very fluffy, though. I wonder if it'd be rude if I asked to touch them. <laughs> I'm sure it would. Probably, yeah. When the boot of his car finally pops open, he looks over at me and takes my case. I thought it he lifted by the handle and said he hefts it over his shoulder, as if it weighed nothing at all. I put my viola carefully in the back seat. Embarrassing question, what is the boot of a car? I've heard that expression before, I don't know what it is. Is that the trunk? You sure you got everything? That case doesn't feel heavy at all. I didn't bring much. I thought I would buy what I need here. You can get everything in the city. Well, guess you're not wrong. Something to be said for traveling at night. Well, hop in. The car is surprisingly nice on the inside. It's supposed to be a little raggedy. The seats are soft and squidgy. Not like the hard foam in the seats of the train car. It's spotlessly clean. Squidgy sounds like really unpleasant to sit on. Like imagine if you like sit in a chair and it made like a sounds. Like would you still sit in that chair? Like every time you move it's like adjusting like a slime creature. Ugh. The radio car also looks or the car radio also looks big and fancy with a lot of buttons. More buttons probably means it's better. Hell yeah. Agreed. Oh, this is a nice car. I know we're actually a little beat up on the outside. Driving around here will do that to you. Trust me. Spend eight hours a day in a place. I learned to keep it nice. This car's basically my office. I, I can't stand, like, I don't get people that leave their desk, their office, like, super cluttered and crap. Like, every surface in my office at work is just completely clear of, like, everything. There'll be, like, a thermos and... This is really about it most days. It's a good way to think about it. He sits right next to the window. Not everybody in the office can do that. He can even go out and buy a donut anytime he wants. 
That's what power looks like nowadays. No. No, I don't think it is. I had to drive once. I had to, I had to drive, uh, well, not once, but... Um, the place I work at owns a bunch of quarries, and a couple times I've had to drive out to them. Um, driving, like, two hours uh, one way uh, in a company vehicle, like a big crappy, like, pickup thing, <laughs> which is not what I usually drive, is, like... I, I did not appreciate that. I, I prefer, you know, being in my desk and coding and stuff. So, m much respect to truck drivers and stuff. I would probably go completely mad. I slide to the back seat with, next to my viola and put on the seatbelt. Radio comes on. Something low and smooth and jazzy. The bit of my brain that thinks about music flicks on for a second to figure it out. I'm still listening to the chord progressions when the engine turns over. You start to move. I'd like to have that part of brain. I don't really have one of those. Guys, this is recording this is using only 2%, less than 2% of my CPU. I love my new CPU, it's so good. It's the uh, Ryzen 9 uh, 3950X, 16 cores, 32 threads. Oh, 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 it's so good. I haven't even overclocked it. It has its, you know, boost mode, like the stock overclock, basically. I haven't fiddled it with it beyond that. I haven't really needed to. Not until I played Dwarf Fortress, I guess. So, student digs, right? I'm thinking maybe up on Bridge Street. Oh, that was a good guess. You got it in one. Ha, noticed it too well. Been here a while. Speaking of, got any questions? Bunch of local landmarks, that kind of thing. It's one thing I like to ask. It's probably rude. He seems pretty friendly, so I don't think he'd mind too much. You're gonna touch his ears, aren't you? What's it like to have a tail? Well, you, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Well, let me put it right. What's it like not to have a tail? From my brow. I can't think of a way to explain it. I can see him smiling in the rearview mirror. There you go, Dan. Can't tell you what it feels like to have a tail. I don't have anything to compare it to. Take you ain't seen a chemo me made before. Well, you don't take kindly to chemo me me's around here. Now this guy's nice. No, never. Are there many in this city? More normal, definitely. You know what they say, birds of a feather flock together. No pun intended. But you're not a bird. You can tend the pun if you like. I like puns. <laughs> that, <laughs> I find that hard to believe with Sora, but okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that one. Neither do, uh, neither do I. Both quiet for a little while. Gives me a chance to listen to music again. My mother taught me how to play, but we didn't do too much theory, so it takes me a while to work out what a piece is doing. I think like I've heard this one before somehow. One of those things you have to remember until you hear the name. Music theory is one of those things that, like, I would like to learn, sort of, to some degree, but, like, when I have more time, I guess. <laughs> the, having the 9 to 5 job plus a hobby like this that takes up a lot of time, and um, gaming in general, which is also a hobby that takes a lot of time. Um, you just don't have too much time for that kind of stuff. It was weird. I had a dream last night, like, school dreams, common stuff, right? I had a dream that I was, like, just going to college classes. Like, I, for some reason, I knew that I had graduated college, which usually in my dreams, like, no. No, you're in college now. But, like, I was, like, just going to take a course, like, like, one class every, like, semester or something, and I think I would actually really enjoy that. I don't know, is that something you can just do with, like, a local community college or something? Just, like, learn some crap on the side? Like, usually my, my go-to now is, like, you know, bum around on Wikipedia, read up something. Um, I still like learning and stuff. Um, I guess that's why it's a good thing to be a programmer. There's always something to learn there. But, um, yeah, be neat. For better or worse, this is what I end up doing a lot in these visual novel kind of things. They kind of, especially when it's something down to earth like, earth like this, uh, it makes you ruminate on real life and, uh, you know, it's a let's play. I talk about what I'm thinking about, so that's what you get in the video. Um, like it or lump it, that's probably what's going to happen. Um, we're almost got a 30 minute mark, which I guess for a VN, 30 minute episodes make sense. I just, I just don't know where to cut it. I like when games have like short, brief chapters and I can split it easy. Anyway, I haven't read for like five minutes. <laughs> I feel like I've heard this one before somehow. One of those things you half remember until you hear the name. 
What's this song called? I don't know, honestly. Honestly, it don't take much notice of what's playing. Just there to stop me from getting lost in my own head. <laughs> you know, the radio, car radio does not help me that at all. I've, um, I've been doing breathing exercises while driving lately. I think up some dumb crap that uh, I don't want in my head. And for some reason, it only really comes up when I'm in the car. I guess it's because I can't do anything else. But, uh, that unpleasant crap just comes back up and I'm like, get, get, get out, get out. So, I try the kind of breathing exercises and, you know, still focus on the road and stuff, but just get all that other crap out of there. And that kind of helps me focus. And then I can kind of focus on the music. I think it's been kind of helping, but just kind of just starting to do it now, so. Yeah. Fill my brain up with something other than thoughts for a while. But there's, there's still thoughts, buddy. I feel like I get lost in my own head all the time, but music doesn't really help. I just get lost in the music instead. It's a conundrum. If you like this kind of music, you should check out White Cap Cafe and Bar. They have music almost every night. Oh, live music. I was gonna say, music every night is not that impressive. <laughs> it's called the stereo radio, dude. The bear's decent, the owner's gorge. Oh, I like, scratched that last bit from the record. Oh, it's gonna be Yuki, isn't it? Got a little carried away there. See, this is why I talk with pretty girls. Hazardous to your health. Hazardous to my health, anyway. Oop. Wait, can I? Oh, you can go back and forth with the um, the, mo the mouse wheel. That's neat. Coming up on Bridge Street now. Look out of the window. It's a lot of bungalows with some bigger house. Guys, what's a bungalow? I, I, I've heard that. Like, is this just, is that just mean house? A low house with a broad front porch having either no upper floor or upper room set in the roof, typically with dormer windows. I see, I see. Sorry about the heating, by the way. I freaking, it needs to not be this scene that we're seeing anymore. It needs to not be winter in real life. I'm so tired of, of blur. There's no bridge though, that's irritating. It's Bridge Street. They should put a bridge. I don't mind where to. You know, we got a bridge street around here. It's not anywhere near a bridge. It's near a river, but it's not near a bridge. There we go. Number 88, right? Sheer stop. Oh, thank you. That's an unfortunate number, but. Click climb out. I take my things, count out my money. I almost had the exact change, but not quite. He waits patiently, though his car engine makes a whine. It feels like it's complaining. Thanks. Here, take your card in case you need a ride in the future. I know a lot of people prefer a drive you already know for safety reasons. I'm a one man operation. You know what you're getting. I was not expecting to spend a half hour with just Sora and original character man. Oh, that's right. I didn't even think about that. Take the card and thank him. Even wave a little as he pulls away. I actually made my first city friend. I've only been in a cab once and I would. <laughs> uh, I was not there to make friends. It was in Vegas, in fact. 88 Bridge Street, my new home. I wonder if I should knock before I go in. I have a key, and technically it's my house. At least for a little while. But the Tennessee Agreement has said I have two roommates. That might scare them. Am I scary? I'm not scary. You're kind of scary, but maybe not in university AU. I'm gonna have to send this video to Farmer. She's gonna like, <laughs> it's not quite coffee shop AU Farmer, but hey, it's, it's pretty close. I mean, you could nest the AUs. You could have a coffee shop where everyone's in the university. I'm sorry, I'm fiddling. <laughs> I have these slime, um, slime rancher plushies on my desk, and I've been fiddling and like almost removing the tag, and the tag just came off. Um, so this seems like a good spot to start. We're just exactly at like 30 minutes. We have, we're finally at home. Um, I got a little rambly, and we didn't get as far in as I thought I would. This will probably take quite a few more videos, but uh, let me know what you're thinking of it. Um, it's been interesting to do a, v a VN again. Um, unfortunately, like 99% of the characters in this game are going to be female, and I don't do... I can't really do high voices very well. Um, the only one I can really do is like, you know, this kind of thing that I did for B back in... Um, uh, Night in the Woods. That's, that's about all I get. I, I get some other decent ones, like I can do Kermit pretty well, but I don't know... 
I don't know that many characters in Orange Juice that would be very appropriate to use that for. It's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of the problem. But hey, hope you've been enjoying this. Um, I'm liking the writing so far. Um, the UI is a little plain, but I did see on um, on Twitter that they have been the up the, the UI looks a lot better on more recent things. It's kind of a standard Ren Pi looking thing at the moment. Kind of surprised to see no Sora portrait yet, but uh, they'll, they'll probably be getting that. I think some of the, the art that's been used, like the fan art stuff that's been used, is probably like placeholder stuff. I mean, it's a fan game and it's a demo. Expect everything to be placeholder, basically. But um, we'll see more of this later. My throat is unfortunately giving out. I, I did a few videos before this one, so I definitely won't be able to continue this today. But um, I'm definitely looking forward to finishing more of this and uh, looking forward to the final product. I know that several of my favorite characters are in here. Um, I know that Nath is in here later. I don't know if she's in the demo or not yet though. Hopefully Aru is in it. Um, QP, I'm sure will be there. QP is always there. But this is the 100% Orange Juice VN demo. Um, it's been fun. I, it definitely kind of reminds me why I don't do visual novels that often for Let's Play stuff. Not, not as a bad thing, like not that I don't enjoy doing it. It's just, it's a very time intensive thing and <laughs> uses a lot of my throat juice. It kind of sucks to have like a, have a hobby that's so dependent on like, all right, I need to be in the right mood. I need to have a good game to play. I need, I, ideally people need to be interested in the game. I don't, Particularly pay attention to that one, but it is nice when it happens. Um, I need to have... my voice needs to be in good shape. Um, and also the more <laughs> things that I do in one day, the more my voice is messed up. So, you know, even if I'm super in a big recording mood, um, it can be ruined. Anyway, um, I'm thinking I'll probably do at least one more video of this, but like I said, let me know. Let me know how you think of this. Uh, I just feel like at this point I'm, I'm in we're in too deep like I, I've already read all this stuff I should probably finish all of it, but uh, yeah I wonder if there's channels that just do dramatic. Oh, I'm sure there are just do dramatic readings of VN and do all their voice acting stuff I guess this is kind of half that plus me rambling like this but hopefully you enjoy the rambling as much as you enjoy the VN um, I always love fan stuff like this, and it's neat to see fan stuff for like indie games and stuff. Um, then you know that the owner probably won't like sue you and cease and desist you, right? At least. I always wished fan works would, you know, channel more in, at least into stuff that won't get you shut down. Like, I like Nintendo games a lot too, but I would absolutely never under any circumstances do like a fan project of any, you know, even moderate size for Nintendo. Just because just they'd shut it down. like. That can be a waste of your time, and it's like, spend your effort towards people where it will go more appreciated. Spend it on like a smaller community where you won't be shut down, and those people will be a lot more interested in, in your stuff. Um, makes me kind of interested. I know there's a lot of fan game stuff for uh, off. I'll have to check those out. Those will probably destroy my throat too. Anyway, I gotta stop talking. I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, thanks for watching the video. Um, hopefully some Orange Juice fans find this and um, we have, like I said, we have a Discord channel in my Discord server, so have.com slash Discord. Um, come play Orange Juice with us. We've uh, been having a lot of fun. The characters are great. Um, I've even made a couple of Orange Juice commissions. You can see those on my site, uh, sutapdap.com. Again, um, there's a couple of commissions I've got of uh, my favorite character. Um, check that out. See you later. Remember to sub subscribe and click the stupid little bell icon to make sure you get new videos. If you want to see more in this series or just all of my videos. Um, and let me know what you thought in the comments. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.